I first met Kira on my first day here as head of year, and I remember that meeting like, honestly, I can't tell you. So they were sat around me in a little semicircle in the hall, and I was doing my usual, being enthusiastic and talking a lot, and there was just like tumbleweed, deathly silence. And I thought, oh my God, I stopped the meeting, I was like, I don't know what's going on, and nobody spoke. Now, honestly, watching Kira grow over the last two years has been absolutely phenomenal. She's an amazing head of year, um, brilliant at hand and difficult parents and boys with challenges but she's also a great science teacher again a bit like Leslie going off traveling the world I wish them every success thank you for everything Kira what is there to say about Steph Lockwood I mean definitely a bit like me you hear her before you see her but her larger than life attitude to everything the boys the school her own life just in general has been an absolute joy to hear coming down the corridor and will be said sorely missed. Personally, Steph, your words of encouragement and support and support over the last two years have just always been brilliantly timed when I've maybe been having a bit of a tough time and thinking, God, really? Um, and you've always found something to say that is just um, massively encouraging. You know, whenever you call my name and say, hey, Maggie, I always think of my aunt, so I always have a bit of an emotion. Uh, can I just thank you um, for all of those boys who stood a bit taller, smiled a bit broader and felt safe in your care. We wish you every success in everything you do. I think probably the longest conversation I had with Phil Watson was his exit interview and oh my goodness, he's just so funny. Honestly, I had such a great time. He knows what he loves about teaching though and he really, really loves teaching and inspiring our A-level students. Um, and I know the science department have really valued that. So Phil, thank you for your contribution with our A-level boys and every success for the future. So Fakar joined us from an agency and you know I think it's probably fair to say you're never always 100% sure what you're going to get, but wow, did we luck out. Uh, Fakar, what a year it's been with COVID and lockdown, but your passion and enthusiasm for your subject absolutely bounces off the walls. The boys love your lessons and the way in which you, you kind of make real things that they are trying to learn about. I know the science department have really valued you and um, we'd just like to say thank you for your contribution to Desborough. Um, you're like part of the family. Good luck in your next steps. So what can I say about Leslie? Dynamic, energetic, very skilled. Um, there's no doubt that between the um, partnership between him and Porrick have brought a new dyna dynamic kind of leadership to DT and will be really missed, multi-talented. I'm only sorry that I didn't get to see or experience the legendary ski trip experiences, uh, but you know, maybe another lifetime. I'm really, really envious of his new steps and traveling. So we wish you every success. You're definitely believing a whole, but thank you for everything you've done. So as the other half of the DT leadership team, Horik has helped grow a really strong department. It's been just so amazing to watch that team grow and grow. And also the wider impact that we're gonna miss. When I first started, Horik was assistant Rao and his dedication and care from, for our boys has been like, absolutely amazing and I know they trust him. Too many incidents of putting the boys first and brilliance and innovation to talk about. But Horik, I know you're going home and I just really hope that brings you the joy that I know it will. So having known Seth for two years, um, I know that before I came, he was an art teacher. And the year that I joined, that first term, it was a sort of multifaceted role. And then he became the um, technician for DT. But Seth has so many talents. I've seen his artwork, which is absolutely incredible. His leadership of Duke, Duke of Edinburgh has empowered so many of our boys to do bronze and silver. Seth, there is no doubt that with all of your talents going somewhere else, Satro, we are not lovers of you at the moment, um, that you'll be sorely missed. But thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done and just the quietly getting on with that determined smile. So it's really hard to um, try and say a goodbye message to Sarah. I've known her like everybody else for two years, but oh my goodness, what a powerhouse of a woman she is. Uh, she's multi-skilled, as comfortable leading in front of a class as she is in supporting and fearless in her determination for our boys. Watching her with some of our toughest, toughest boys, those tough conversations wrapped up in love and support. Um, Sarah, we're really sad to be losing you and hope that the next journey in your life is just incredible because you truly deserve it. 
So this one's really difficult for me because I think of everybody leaving. Um, I have worked the closest with this person. So Dan, I don't really know what to say. I remember meeting you for the first time um, in the hotel lobby, uh, you and Bernadette, and I, met you, and I remember one, first thinking, God, he's young, and then I felt really old. Um, and two, just being really impressed. And I think from the minute I started, your support has been really invaluable. Um, your sense of humour is amazing, so we laugh a lot, which is brilliant. Um, but it's been my absolute ple pleasure to see you grow over the last two years. Um, when I joined your assistant principal for sixth form, and now you have so many different roles and have led on so many things. You're the face of wellbeing at Desborough, and that has just been absolutely phenomenal, the growth of that. And it's the one thing that, in feedback, everybody says they appreciate the most, so thank you for that. Um, your professional growth has been incredible. I mean, I'm not surprised that you have been appointed as deputy head at Grove. And whilst there will be some trepidation because it's terrifying, they are not ready. They're not ready. They don't know what's coming and you're going to smash it. So um, can I just say thank you for it all, for the laughter, for the sarcasm, for the drinking buddies, for the challenge, for the support. We're going to miss you terribly and we're always here. Should you just want to swing by and have a catch up? Um, Anytime, you know my phone number. Hey Dan, just wanted to wish you the very best of luck in your new role. Not that you'll be needing luck, although it does sound as if body armour might be quite handy. Um, you've been a consummate pro and endlessly patient with an inexperienced head of department. Uh, so my thanks for that. And my thanks for even very occasionally sharing from your top secret stash of resources. Big thanks for your recent handover on sixth form. I'll try not to wreck it for you um, and also try not to hassle you too often to ask you how to do this, that and the other. Uh, I do hope we stay in touch though, six form advice aside, uh, because since my arrival at Desborough there has been very little if anything to match the transformation from the uh, cool, calm, collected classroom Clawson to the uh, uh, relaxed, shall we say, and just occasionally uh, completely outrageous and inappropriate post-Prosecco performance. So long may that last. Good luck.